Namaste to everyone. Today we'll talk about what happens when we speak or in other words do sankalp as in Sanskrit Behad ki Param Shanti. But before that we need to understand few basic concepts. As we all know that all life forms in the solar systems are made of five elements which are ether or akash as in Sanskrit air, vayu, fire which is agni, water which is jal and earth which is prithvi. Depending on the location in the solar systems, the relative percentage in the body varies. For example, on the earth, earth element is more, in the sun, the fire element is more and so on. Another concept is when soul was first formed, it was in a supreme peace stage, which is Param Shanti stage. Due to life and death cycle over the period of time, the power of the soul is decreased and the layer of illusion has formed on the surface due to the karmic quantum entanglement. When we simply speak Param Shanti to ourselves or to other persons, it reminds souls of the original nature and the peace is felt. When we do it regularly, this feeling increases and path for the original soul consciousness stage along with its power is laid down. Now, when we speak Behad ki Param Shanti in the soul conscious stage, which is feeling yourself in your original soul form before you took the first human form, the light of the soul spreads into the aura and affect all the elements. Along with all the five elements that are ether, air, fire, water, earth, which are affected, water being more than 70% is affected quickly. It has been proven now that water has a memory, so this sankalp or affirmations of Behad ki Param Shanti quickly affect the water which in turn affects the earth element. Both water and earth element affect the air element. Then air element affect the fire, which in turn finally affect the ether elements. Once the causal body is affected, which is mostly composed of ether, it is reflected in the aura. Our aura get filled with Paramshanti vibration and it can go until 50 to 25 feet higher and around us. If someone thinks of you and you are in a Param Shanti stage, then that person's vibration of thinking will touch your aura and take back Param Shanti vibrations to him and he will also feel the effect of Supreme Peace or Param Shanti. Even if someone has evil thoughts for you, then this vibration will not reach your soul and that evil thoughts vibrations or the energy which is which is true in itself will be modified and reflected back to that persons of origin from your aura taking param shanti vibrations back to him and slowly that person will calm down and eventually will not think bad for you it is like a negative vibrations or energy that attacks the aura will take back param shanti vibrations which is positive vibrations According to the Newton Third Law, every action has an equal and opposite reactions. Thus, with Param Santi vibrations, your aura will automatically become an armor or shield, protecting you from the various negative vibrations, which includes the various negative disease-causing viruses and bacteria, because ultimately, we all are vibrational energies. When the large group of people will spread Param Shanti vibrations by chanting Param Shanti Mantra. It will affect the atmosphere by filling it up with the positive vibration of Param Shanti or Supreme Peace. When this vibration will touch the people, they will start returning to the original state of Supreme Peace and health. Thus negative people will also start becoming positive with the positive vibration and eventually the world will start becoming positive, peaceful and balanced. 
This is the only process by which both world known and unknown can be changed at its work at the core, transforming the elements of which entire creation is formed of. If one knows the manifested form of Almighty Authority, which is Akari in Sanskrit, and remembers him in his highest abode or place. And when you do so, you receive the power from him, otherwise remember the unmanifested form or the Nirakari. The only difference is in the amount of power that you will receive. Almighty authority is our, ultimately, the great-great-grandfather. So, if you draw the power making relationship, it will be have a great effects. I would like to add some analogy from understanding for understanding from my side. Many people might be having in mind why only this month, why not the other months that have been existing so far. It is because to lift something one needs to have an anchor or a lever point outside the system. That anchor point is Almighty Authority, our great great grandfather. Rest all gods that we know of in all religions are within the solar systems or in this multiverse. Our solar system is the smallest unit of our multiverse, and multiverse is the smallest unit of the original creations, which is if you further want to do more about this multiverse. It is another topic. Now, one has to go from the known to the unknown to see the real face of the world that we know of. But in this process, respect one and everyone. The reason of all problem is this soul has decreased in power and to recharge it, one needs to connect to the endless powerhouse, which is almighty authority. Some might think they can connect to the substations or regional power station which can be uh, correlated with the gods and demigods of all religions, but their power is very limited as they are not so much connected to the source which is almighty authority. The problem of war and rage is not only on earth or the solar system but extends to the galaxies, universe, great universe, and so on. So the mantra for peace in the creations, not only on the solar system, is Behat ke, Behat ki, Param, 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 Mahashanti hai, Mahashanti hai, Mahashanti hai. Which literally means that infinite peace is existing in all of creations. For the complete understanding of the similar metaphysical subject of this and unseen world, one can visit YouTube at Bapuji Dashrat Bhai Patel and at www.paramshanti.org. Let your curious mind and soul power be your navigator to all the realities. May the infinite peace be there in all of creation. And everybody be filled with love and happiness. Behat ki param shanti to every soul.